This is an interesting question. Can I, from a blank project, go and use the network diagram to build a complete project? I'm Christian from Vision 6D, and the answer to this question is yes. And we are going to look how we can do that. I have now opened the blank project. The only thing is to make sure here that it is on auto schedule. This is for convenience. And now we'll go into the network diagram. And we have here the network diagram. It might be that it doesn't appear for you as easily as for me here. So you go into more views and here you look for the network diagram and you say apply and will be at the same position. As an example project, I will take the construction of a workbench uh, prototype. It was a mobile workbench. It turned out that this equipment could also be used as a cart uh, for the barbecue. So like in any project, when you start the first task and to get the first task, you simply click in the white space and you drag and you get a first task. And this will be initiation. It's the time while uh, we were thinking about what to do, how the prototype should be. So this is what we've done into the initiation. We've defined the scope of this project. The second step uh, that we had, so for this, you click into the first task and you see this line that comes. It creates you a second task. And the second task was the planning of the project and how we would do that. So I enter here the planning. While we were doing the planning, we did a first thing, which was the uh, time estimation. And you saw that I made here a slight mistake. So by double clicking on it, you have the information window that opens like when you are into the Gantt chart and you can key in information as you would do. So we had the time estimation and we did also here a cost estimation. With the time estimation, we were able to start to do the budget that we completed and you see how I add a second link with the information we got from the cost estimation. Once we had the budget and we said, OK, we agree with the budget, we could start the project with what is called the kickoff. The kickoff, the particularity of this, it's that it is a milestone to show that we appreciated uh, the budget and we agreed on this. So it was a duration of zero day. And you see here the, the shape. This is the shape that shows something as a milestone onto the network diagram. When we look from the, the planning, the following activities, we understand that all of them are part of the planning. So I select them all and I will ident them below planning. For this, you see, uh, we don't see a great difference here, but you see on top of planning appearing a minus sign. If I click on that minus sign, we see that uh, the underlying task or activities are unshown. So now from the initiation, we can enter also into what is called uh, realization or better execution. I will have as next task here the design of the cart. In parallel to the design of the cart, I will need to, to have some look at suppliers. So I will entitle this suppliers. I have two tasks. When I have my design, I have an ID of the suppliers. I can here start to build. And what I will build first are the frames and the legs of the cart. 
this is the first task I have to do here. While the frames are uh, drying because I used wax, I can do the workbench top. We'll even see that there will be holes to drill, to pinch things, and well, it's a fantastic experience. So the frame has dried. So the next step here, I need to reinforce the structure. Yes, because it's a workbench and we are really going to hit things on that workbench. So we have those two things that are done. And after that, we have all the elements that are necessary. So we can enter into the finishing of the workbench. So this is the next task. And at the same time, we'll also do the finishing for the workbench. So we see here in blue, the workbench is defined as a task that has still some float or some margin. And you already start to see where is the critical pass. I will detail a bit more what is a finishing. For that, I add a task where we'll be first sending all the pieces and after that we will varnish them those two tasks here they are subtasks of finishing so we'll do the same we'll ident them like that we could simply have a view in which we say okay we see during the realization we go through the design of the cart at the same time we watch for suppliers then we start with the frames and the legs. When it's drying, we do the workbench top. And uh, as soon as we can, we will go and do the reinforcement of the structure. And then we can enter into finishing. If I now reduce the summary task finishing, we see that everything disappears. Although the last part, the mounting and the prototype, they shouldn't be part of finishing. They should come on their own after that. So I select them and I will de in I then and out then. <laughs> so if I try now, you see that we have finishing and after we have the activity mounting the wheels and the resulting prototype. We are at the end of the project, so there is one task that I want to add here. It's the closing of the project. And in the closing of the project, there will be one task, which is the deliverable acceptance. So I have this here down. And once again, I select that last task and it will be identified under the close. What I want to do, of course, where it's placed, it's not exactly what happens in the project. So I will go and take the deliverable, which is over there, and link it to that last activity, which is the acceptance of the project. And we see here that the task has been moved here up at the end. On the complete diagram we, we have here, I will, for the realization, do also as I did. It means that I'm selecting now all the tasks and I'm going to ident them like that. I mark the fact that they are all part of realization. And to check it, I do it and we see that everything was removed and everything is now under realization. With that, I think that now we are eager to go and to look how it looks like into the Gantt chart. And I'm pretty sure that if you are doing the exercise at the same time, you already went to, to look. So now I pass into the Gantt chart. And we see that uh, we have here our different identification and here the Gantt chart. What we notice is that closing is just after initiation. So I prefer to see this at the end like that. It has a more logical way to be presented. But we see that we have initiation, realization, planning. Of course, you could have planning before. 
but planning you have to do it all the time during the, the project. So if you prefer, you can safely move it up. And you will find there is something I didn't pay attention to. Oh, yes, I see closing. This has to be identified one more out, out identified one more time. And now I can move it back. So we can now request the critical path. So we'll request the critical tasks, and you see here down we have all that information as we need it. For every task, of course, we could have entered durations. So I'm going back to the network diagram and I'm going to take here an example. For example, I take here reinforced structure and I could say that this, I give myself two days to do it. So I think that with that, you saw the principle with durations. I'm not going to enter more into this. So we saw that from a blank project page, it was absolutely possible to build, to put on the activities in the network diagram, to put the, the links, the relations between them, to ident, and everything led us to a Gantt chart in the end. So it's an approach that is really feasible and really usable into the project. So you liked it, thumb up, share with your friends, comments, and subscribe to the channel. It's really important. It helps us to grow. So hope to see you soon for the next video. In the meantime, have a good time. Bye-bye.